लेट इस सी एन इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो एक तो यार ये जो जंगल है ना पहले तो इस जंगल का मंगल कर दे यार से थोड़ा मशीन मार के छोटा छोटा बाल कर देना साइड में सिर्फ तीन लाइन छोड़ना ग्रीन ब्लू और रेड ये लट को छू दिया ना तो बता रहा हूँ मेरी गर्लफ्रेंड को अच्छी लगती है यार इसको ट्रायंगल शेप में बनाते हैं मुर्गे की तरह रहते हैं ना पीछे पंख यहाँ से पूरा एक्जैक्टली स्पाइक चाहिए मुझे फोम भी डाल देना एक भी बार मुझे नीचे नीचे थोड़ा सा कूल डू टाइप बनाना each and every one of them whatever they want well similarly banks have different accounts for the requirements of different people so what kinds of accounts does bank offer us the banks offer us savings bank account fixed deposit account recurring or cumulative deposit account or current bank account well we were talking about depositing money and lending loans from the bank in the previous lectures so if you want to deposit money if you go and say to the bank deposit my money Yo, yeah. will they take it? No, you have to first select any one of such accounts you want to deposit your money in. So let us know what are these accounts actually, and how do we select them? Well, the first one is the savings bank account. What do you understand by the term savings? Well, we know if our parents give us some money, we save some of them, and gradually our savings increase. Well, similarly, every one of us has some savings. So this kind of account is opened by people who want to save their money. So what happens? You have to first deposit a specific amount of money that they need when you open the account. After that, whenever you have an ex have extra money with you, you can just go and deposit it into such an account. Well, they also give you a facility that you can also withdraw that money whenever you want. So. There is full flexibility in savings bank account. Well, along with this, they also provide you interest on the balances of your money on this account. So, how do they calculate this interest? Well, this happens on a daily basis. So, you can see you can deposit money into savings bank account whenever you want. You can withdraw money from your savings bank account, and also you get a nominal amount of interest on your savings bank account balances. So you can say that savings account are actually opened to encourage the people to save money and collect their savings. So this actually encourages you to save money and deposit into the account. Next, we have fixed deposit account. What do you understand by the term fixed deposit? Fixed, fixed means you have to keep your deposits fixed. You cannot withdraw your money from such an account. So that means my money is gone. I just have to deposit it, and it's gone. No. What happens in a fixed deposit account? It is an account in which money is deposited for a stated period of time. Well, in savings bank account, you could withdraw your money any time you wanted, but in a fixed deposit account, once you have deposited the money, after that there is an agreed period of time. For that, you cannot withdraw your money during that time. Say one year, two years, ten years, or even Twenty years. So suppose you have deposited a money, say rupees ten thousand, in a fixed deposit account in a bank for two years. So once you have deposited rupees ten thousand, now for two years you just have to forget about your money. You cannot withdraw your money at any time. So you will get back your money just after two years. But what benefit do you get? Well, a fixed interest rate is paid at the end of that period. So what happens at the end of two years? Say you had deposited rupees ten thousand. So at the end of two years, you will receive your ten thousand. Along with that, a fixed rate of interest is also present. So you will get back an interest too. So what differences did you find in savings bank account and fixed deposit account? There was full flexibility in savings bank account as to withdrawal of money, but there is no such flexibility in fixed deposit. You cannot deposit or withdraw money once you have deposited. the said amount of money for a stated period of time but in savings bank account you receive a lesser amount of interest whereas in fixed deposit you receive a higher amount of interest on your money next we have recurring or cumulative deposit account what do you mean by recurring well recurring means reoccur so you can say that in such a deposit account what happens you deposit a certain amount of money 
every month say rupees 100 or rupees 500 so every month you save rupees 500 and you have to deposit rupees 500 every month in this deposit account for a specific period of time now what if i cannot uh, deposit 500 i have only 300 for that period or that month no that will not do what happens in recurring deposit account there is an amount fixed so if you have agreed on rupees 500 so each and every month you have to pay rupees 500 and interest will be calculated accordingly so to boost the savings among people of small and middle income groups so if anyone has a fixed income or regular income they can deposit the same amount of money every month and get interest thereon but there is no facility to withdraw that money it is kind of making fixed deposit but in monthly installments there are recurring time deposits in banks and post offices well banks and even post offices give the facility of recurring deposit account now the last one is the current bank account what is the current bank account normally it is opened by business entities in order to carry out their banking transactions well what does that mean from the savings bank account we cannot transact our business well it's not so well there is a limit to the number of transactions of withdrawals you can make in a day in the savings bank account not only on the number of transactions but also on the amount of the withdrawals you can do in a day so a current bank account has no limits like this you can have any number of transactions in a day so what happens in these business entities you know huge businesses they have a lot of transactions in a day so they use current bank accounts now a zero interest account this is the main difference between current bank account and any other bank account that is the in any other bank account you receive interest whether it is nominal or high but in current bank account you receive zero interest it is generally associated with businesses which have huge and frequent number of transactions so now you know why businessmen choose current bank accounts because it has no limit on the number of transactions you can make in a day via banks so now you know what are the types of bank accounts savings bank account fixed deposit account recurring or it is also known as cumulative well can you tell me why is it known as cumulative also well it actually adds up your savings together and gives you back with the interest you receive on it and current bank account so these are the four types of bank accounts offered to you by the banks now if i ask you that being a student you want to open an account in the bank which one would you prefer well the savings bank account yes why will you choose this prayer savings bank account or you may prefer the savings bank account because you have to open the bank account depositing a minimal amount of money and after that whenever you save money you can just go and deposit it in your bank account and you can also withdraw that money from your savings bank account mrs singh is a housewife and she wants to open an account in the bank which one would you suggest her to open savings bank account fixed deposit account recurring or current bank account well she is not a businessman so she does not need the current bank account well she can have a savings bank account she can open a fixed deposit account if she is having a huge amount of money and she does not need it in the near future well she can also open a recurring deposit account if she can deposit a fixed amount of money every month now mr sharma who owns a business firm just now we have studied that current account actually is being preferred by business entities when they have huge amount of transactions to make in a day so mr sharma can open a current bank account well he can choose any one whichever whichever he wants but being a businessman we will prefer him to open a current bank account well he can open a savings bank account or a recurring deposit account or a fixed deposit account for his wife and children now a person having a large sum of money but doesn't require it in near future well he has a large amount of money and he does not need to withdraw that once deposited in the bank so 
you will suggest him to open a fixed deposit account in a bank. So this is how we classify different accounts offered by a bank. Savings bank account, fixed deposit account, recurring deposit account, or cumulative or current bank account.